We're going to go to David and Oceanside. Hello, Mr. Giuliani. We speak again. Hi, David. Let me introduce myself again. David Guthers, Executive President of New York's Ferrets Rights Advocacy. <laughs> Last week when we spoke, you made a very disparaging remark to me that I should get a life. <laughs> that was very unprofessional. Here we are trying to get something seriously done. I just stated that. Without you that. talking over me, we're trying to get something very seriously done. David, you're on my show. I have the right to talk over you. We're trying to get an important issue taken care of where the city is violating state law. And I asked you last week if you care about the law. Yes, I do care about the law. I think you have totally and absolutely misinterpreted the law. Because there is something deranged about you. No, there isn't, sir. The excessive concern that you have for ferrets is something you should examine with a therapist, not with me. Don't go insulting me again. I'm not insulting you. I'm being honest with you. Maybe no one in your life has been honest with you. I happen to be more sane than you. This conversation is over, David. Thank you. There is something really, really very sad about you. You need help. I know you feel insulted by that, but I'm being honest with you. The excessive concern with little weasels is a sickness. There are probably very few people who would be as honest with you about that. But you should go consult a psychologist or a psychiatrist and have him help you with this excessive concern. How you are devoting your life to weasels. Something has gone wrong with you. Your compulsion about it your excessive concern with it is a sign of something wrong with your personality. I do not mean to be insulting. I'm trying to give you advice for your own good. I know you. I know how you operate. I know how many times you called here this week. Three or four o'clock in the morning, David. You called here. You have a sickness. I know it's hard for you to accept that because you hang on to this sickness. And it's your shield. It's your whatever. And I know if you're real angry at me, you're going to attack me. But actually, you're angry at yourself. And you're afraid of what I'm raising with you. And if you don't deal with it, I don't know what you're going to do. But you called here excessively all week. And you called here at 3 o'clock in the morning. And 4 o'clock in the morning. Over weasels. Over a ferret. So I know this is difficult. And tomorrow, one of the newspapers will write about how mean I am. And how cruel I am. And all that other stuff. But I believe, because my father and mother taught me this, that you, that you, I lost my place. <laughs> that you should be honest with people, and I am giving you the benefit of 55 years of experience having represented hundreds, and in some cases thousands of people, on either side of the courtroom, having handled insanity defenses and cases, you need help. And please get it. And you don't have the right to call here at 3 o'clock in the morning, harass the people on my staff because of your compulsion. So David, see what you can do to get help. But we can't help you. We don't have the professional expertise to help you. <laughs> now we're going to move on to Richard in the Bronx. <laughs>